Hi you guys, it's me, Ornate ASMR. I know it's been a while, um, as in probably like nine months, actually maybe less than that, I'll give myself some credit. I think it's been maybe six months since my last upload where I said I would upload more. <laughs> so, um, this year's been crazy. Um, I don't know if I shared before, but I got engaged. Very happy. Um, that's probably the big news of the year. And then, I know it's the end of the year, and the year has a lot of good things, and then some trials as well. But I figured towards the end of the year, um, I would do like a little soft-spoken solitaire game with you all. So I have a deck of cards here. Um, and I had never played solitaire before, um, well that's not true, my grandmother taught me to play whenever I was very young, and I remember her teaching me, but then, you know, I'm, I'm trying to shuffle quietly, um, I'm using my college laptop to record this, so sound quality is probably not the best, so be patient with me. Um, uh, it's, and I just don't have the patience to figure out how to edit the sound. <laughs> anyway, this past weekend I thought I would play some solitaire, so I taught myself how to play. Both days this weekend, I played for probably six hours, um, combined both days, and I probably won five games, <laughs> um, which apparently is decent odds, I didn't know that, or decent winning statistics. So to give you the rundown, I also been dealing the cards incorrectly, so I'll show you the correct way to lay out the cards. We're playing at my kitchen table right now, so that's why there's a few uh, crumbs. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start out. You make seven piles, okay? So there's pile one, and then you lay down a card for each of the seven piles. Okay, I'll try to fit these all in frame super into the game and things get messy, I apologize. I also apologize because if you could not tell based on the beginning of this story, I'm not very good. I miss a lot of moves, which I'm sure are going to be extremely frustrating for you to watch. So maybe, <sighs> just give me grace whenever you you see all these mistakes, okay? <laughs> Just say, oh wow, she missed another move. Um, try not to be too harsh in the comments. So as you can see, we have our seven piles here, and each pile you upturn the last card, and there's a corresponding number of cards to whatever pile number it is. So pile one has one card, pile seven has seven cards, with the seventh card being upturned. Okay. <clears throat> so this is starting off well because we have an ace showing. So we keep, we're going to put the ace up here. Oh, you can't really see that. Okay. Oh well. We have... Oh, I'll try to set this up. I should have planned this out better, but I'm not very good at planning stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll put my aces up here, and then I'll put my shuffling So basically, so you can stack red cards on black cards. So I'm going to put this two on this three, and then I'm going to flip this card over. And I don't think I have any more moves. And so I'm going to take three cards, flip them.
so yeah, overall this year was a really good one. Um, I would say I grew a lot as a person, and I hope that never changes. I hope to continually grow in who I am. Um, I think I learned a lot about myself, um, and a lot about my faults, which I'm, I've never claimed to be perfect. But, okay, so since I've gone through all this, all this like shuffling through a pile, I'm going to pick them up and then do it again. Because since we've played some cards, that's going to affect the cards that I shuffle through, as well as the cards I can lay down. And then same thing, I'm just going to flip these bad boys over. Okay. Yeah, so I think I learned a lot about my flaws. You know, that's hard to, hard to realize that you're not as, you know, infallible as you would like to be, but hopefully I can learn from that. We're not doing too great anymore. <laughs> hopefully I can learn from that and use it to better myself. Oh, there's an ace, so we're going to stack that up here. And then I have two of clubs down here. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll continue to grow and better who I am as a person because I think that's really what life is all about is trying to become the best version of yourself to learn from your mistakes. Um, I think my big philosophy in life that whenever I was in high school really believed with every fiber of my being was that you know, be kind to your fellow humans and show them love and compassion. And as I've gotten older and into my profession, sometimes that can be very draining to do because you realize that, you know, other people test you. Okay, anyway, so I've gone through this. I'm pretty sure at this point I would have lost this game of solitaire because I can't play any more moves. So I'm going to take the top card from here it on the bottom and then just start going through again uh, you know flipping three that way I can hopefully play on top of each other a little bit more okay we can start yeah so um okay to be a little less uh I guess philosophical because <laughs> I lost my train of thought have read a lot of books this year, which is, I used to read a ton as a child. I used to read so much, and then in school I stopped because school took up like all of my, all of my spare time. And so I read a lot of books, I listened to a lot of audiobooks, which I had never really done before. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to flip through these single, like single file, one at a time, because I uh, am not playing any cards. <laughs> I told you I'm not very good. I'm probably missing a lot of moves. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've read a lot of books. Uh, listened to a lot of books and kind of rediscovered how much of reading, so if you're able to, if you've read any good books recently, please comment your favorite book that you've read this past year, and maybe I'll check it out. I love to know what people are reading. Oh, this is just not going very well for me. <laughs> like two of diamonds. to a concert this year to see one of my favorite artists. Um, he was incredible. And I actually have bought 
tickets to see him again next year. So I can't wait for that. Um, I forgot to go on a great vacation. Um, I spent good quality time with friends and family this year. meant more and more to me as I've gotten older. It always meant a lot to me. Like my family has always meant so much to me and have always been very important to me. But as I've gotten older, I actually moved away from my family. And so anytime I get to see them, because I don't see them nearly as much as I would like to and as much as I should. So anytime I get to spend with them is so meaningful. And I think next year, um, excuse me, I think next year what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a few more vacation days because um, I get a certain number of vacation days a year. And if you don't use them all, you lose them. None of them roll over. And I never use all of my vacation days, so I think I'm going to take a few long weekends to go visit my family. Um, okay, so I lost that game. I have no more games to play. <laughs> so I'll shuffle again and we'll lay these out one more time. Um, also, I don't know if I've said this in previous videos, but whenever I make ASMR videos, I yawn so often. And I don't know if it's because I'm just not breathing enough, because I'm talking kind of in muted tones. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not getting enough oxygen. Who knows? Um... I'm sure I watched some good movies this year, but none really stick out in my mind. I saw the Barbie movie in theaters, um, which I thought was really good, and I was I didn't play with Barbies really growing up. I guess maybe I did a little bit, but not a ton. Um, but I think that just as um, a woman, I liked the movie a lot, and kind of some of the, the views it expressed about womanhood were relatable, which I thought was so cool. Yeah, I see about one movie a year in theaters, um, and I actually have, um, been made fun of for the way that I say the word theater, so I don't know. I just talk the way I talk. Dang it, see, this is how I set them up incorrectly before, so that's wrong. That's just out of habit. I wasn't doing the in each pile and go across. Sorry. Um, I just canceled my gym membership because I haven't been going. Um, I like to lift free weights for strength training. I don't do as much cardio as I should. Um, but I haven't been going for like two months. So I canceled my gym membership and I think I'm going to do a different gym that offers workout classes um, that you re reserve your spot for in advance because I think I would um, hold myself more accountable if I'm like, okay, then I've planned it out. It's part of my day. I've reserved this spot. I think I would have better luck, at, uh, not better luck, just be more disciplined attending those. Dang it, I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. This probably isn't a very relaxing video to watch because you're watching me miss solitary moves and then 
mess up the setup. So I apologize. Um, but yeah, so come this next year, I'm going to start going to start doing kind of the wedding planning um and I get emotional every time I think about it I just I don't know I've always been emotional like even as a child I've just cried a lot and I don't know was anxious but now when I think about it I just feel so full of love just picturing it all that I just get emotional I don't know kind of a Kind of lame, I guess, but I'll own up to it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I don't think. Okay, I think that's all of my notes. the coldest day we've had so far of the year and compared to previous years it's not even that cold but I'm still snuggled up because of it okay I'm making a mess here how did I set this up nicely beforehand with the card stand oh well we'll get it figured out Maybe I'll lose quickly and then I can try a better setup. <laughs> um, I hope, <coughs> excuse me, jeez. I hope, oh god, it's happening again. I hope this past year was kind to you all and filled with a lot of love and you know how cared for that you are. Um, Sorry for the lulls in conversation. This takes all of my brain power, apparently. <laughs> but this is going all right so far. Knock on wood. Okay, speaking of knocking on wood, are you guys superstitious at all? I think I, <clears throat> I think I am a little bit, um, not like ritualistic or anything like that, but I'll say like knock on wood, which I think is like a little superstitious, I guess. Um, God, this is so messy. <laughs> um. Kind of like I was saying, I see like one movie in theaters a year. And last year, I saw two. I saw that new Top Gun movie, the sequel, Top Gun Maverick. And then I also saw um, the Buzz Lightyear movie, which I thought was fantastic. I didn't, I've never seen the first Top Gear, or Top Gun, sorry. I like Top Gear a lot, the UK show. But I've never seen the first Top Gun, which is probably why I thought the second one was pretty cheesy. I was like, oh geez, this is super cheesy. But I guess that's kind of the appeal to it. Because you can make people think about like the first movie. But the Buzz Lightyear movie I thought was phenomenal. Move on. 
these are going to start getting longer here in a bit because I'm in the northern hemisphere. Um, I can't wait for that. But like I said, this winter hasn't even been that bad. Which stresses me out a little bit because of climate change. I don't know if I can say that. Is YouTube going to like flag me for saying that? Probably not. But that's okay. <coughs> There's a strategy to solitaire in which, like, where you pick up and play your cards, but I don't know it, so therefore I don't abide by it. And um, that's probably why I lose so often. <laughs> but that's fine, that's okay. See, I put this four on here, but I couldn't because it's a red. So I messed up. So I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. See, and I think I'm going to lose this game because the two of hearts is my only card that's not showing. I need it to show so that I can play my other hearts. So stay tuned. Oh, let's see, I'm playing a seven on a six. That's not correct. Six, seven, eight. Oh, but I have an open space, so I can move that king over. I have the two. Okay, and since I have all of my cards showing now, I think that means I win because you would just unstack them into the corresponding seats. So I'm happy I won a game while recording this. Otherwise, I would just look. I would be so embarrassed. My street credit would be none. Even, even worse than it is now. Do you guys know any cool like card tricks? I don't. <laughs> um, I guess I know one, but I'll save that for a future video because I have to figure think about how I would film it. remember being a little kid and getting so frustrated when my hands weren't big enough to shuffle a deck of cards because everybody else could and I would have to put them all on the table and then just move them around like that which was time consuming and I don't really know if it works as well Side note, I love movies about casinos, you know, like robbing a casino or um, winning a poker game, stuff like that. I think those movies are so good, and I have no desire to do any of that or to, like, gamble, really, so I don't know why I like those movies so much, but boy, do I. Ace. So 
hurry and I stop talking during this, it's because, like I said, it uses all of my brain power. See, I just get so engrossed, and then next thing I know, time has flown by, and I'm like, oh, I have somewhere I need to be. I've been playing solitaire for like five hours. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but you get what I mean. that a couple times. I'm going to burn a card and then do the three again. What I really need is that. So I think if I do put a queen on it, that I hope I have, but now that I think about it, I might not. Oh, I do. Don't think I want that. What are some of your favorite um, card games? I like this. I like ERS. Which I always, I hope it's not offensive, I always learned that it stood for Egyptian Rat Screw. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, I'll play one more game. And if I lose, I'll upload this in the next, but hopefully I can win and we'll end on a good note. I'm actually meeting up with some friends.
friends to like go putt putt golfing, which I don't really enjoy. If I should eat before then, I'm pretty hungry, and I don't know if we'll get food there, so maybe I'll wait just to be safe. Like I said, I'm recording this on my computer, so the quality is probably bad. I'm sorry. Maybe this next year I'll invest in some good equipment. And then I'll be compelled to make more videos because I'll be like, wow, I have money in this. Hopefully you guys are going to want to watch them more. Um, you know, that kind of thing. You gotta spend money to make money. Like I gotta invest in my videos for people to want to watch them. I don't know. Okay, let me down a little bit so I can knock these off in a bit. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, I can play that already. Okay. Oh, one of the rules I didn't mention that I I think I've been doing it, but I didn't say, is that if you have a king, and say you only have six piles, because you've played from one pile up to another and gotten rid of it, you can have your king start a new pile. So, like, I only have six, six piles here out of my original seven. If I have a king, I can put the king here to build off a new pile. So, if you saw me doing that and you um, didn't understand, that's why. Just like that. Do you guys make um, New Year's resolutions ever? I do. And then, like last year, um, at the end of the year, I found in my phone, in my notes app, there was actually my New Year's resolutions that I forgot I had made. <laughs> um, and they, um, I was looking over them and I was like, wow, I didn't meet a single one of these. <laughs> and I don't like making myself feel bad about them. It's just stuff that I want to do to like better myself. But I was like, geez, I forgot I even made these. I wonder if there are like solitaire world championships. That would be pretty cool. Because I think part of the game is that, like I have two sixes here. It's like, oh, which six do you move could affect the outcome of the game completely, you know? So you have like some just odds, like what you've been getting, but also uh, the luck of how you play, which could totally affect things. That's a good sign because I know when to record. 
glue from the filter. I just hope it's a red glue to play with there. Let's see. It is. burn a card. Burn a card and I need to do this. I'm out of glue. I'm out of glue. I need like a five, but hold on. Yeah. I'll do it. Nope. Okay. We're gonna go single file now. still in it. Oh, now I'm going to start playing by the rules since I played some stuff. that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you're all doing well, and I intend to record again soon. Bye!